The Secretary of State shall be responsible for the overall coordination, supervision, and direction of the United States foreign relations and for the interdepartmental activities of the United States government abroad. The Secretary is the principal foreign policy advisor to the President, is the first ranking member of the Cabinet, and a member of the National Security Council. He or she is fourth in line of succession to the President. From Thomas Jefferson to Cyrus Vance, from James Madison to Henry Kissinger. By July 16, 1982, 60 men have served the nation as Secretary of State. On this date, George Pratt Schultz becomes the 61st. Mr. President, I thank you. You have done me a great honor, and I recognize fully the responsibilities placed upon me. I was in Tel Aviv when the announcement came out that George Schultz was coming, but uh, my sense is that it was greeted with quite a lot of enthusiasm because many of the professionals had been very down on Al Haig. Uh, he replaced Alexander Haig, who had uh, made a number of, of what turned out to be fatal errors in dealing with both foreign policy, but more particularly with Reagan, and particularly, of course, with Nancy Reagan. Schultz came in and immediately uh, got along with the president, but he also got along very, very well with Nancy Reagan. So help me God. Congratulations. In some ways, I think it's, uh, it was a brilliant choice. As far as I know, he is the first and perhaps the only economically trained Secretary of State that we've had in our history.